So my name is Eva Rosenthal. I'm a second grade teacher at Metz Elementary in East Austin. Um, this is my 11th year. Um, my class is a dual language class. Um, and ever since I've been at Metz, we have had a school garden here. I came here and I had um, a really wonderful teacher mentor who also likes gardening and she was really into um, the monarch butterflies and their migration. So I learned about the monarchs and then um, we had the help of AmeriCorps and then also the Green Corn Project and the Sustainable Food Center in building additional garden beds. So when I got here, we had some, we had one native plant bed to attract the monarch butterflies and then we also had um, one organic vegetable bed. Hey, Shelly, will you look and see if there's any monarch caterpillars over there on the plants over there? And then we also get support from the Sustainable Food Center. Um, and they do, we've done a field trip with them. They donate seeds, they donate compost, they donate starts. Um, and they really are mostly food gardening as well. And I think it's a really cool process for them to get to like care for the plants. Um, to understand, like even just looking at the seeds, that there's like a variety of different kinds of seeds and that some plants you plant from seeds, some plants you plant from starts, um, like the mint and the basil and stuff out there like are from starts that we rooted, the milkweed roots from cuttings, but the, and it, you know, it grows from seed too, but like they see the natural cycle, which is really amazing. Um, last year, I worked with the kindergarten classes planting vegetable gardens too, and the kindergartners got super into it. They were really happy. Um, and they, you know, they'll go out there and just like eat the broccoli flowers. We let the broccoli um, bolt and it attracts tons of bees and they'll go out there and like eat the broccoli flowers. And, like, I'm not, you know, like they're sharing with the bees, like it, it works out really nicely. Last year our food manager applied for this grant from Whole Foods to get a salad bar and so Tuesdays and Thursdays there's a salad bar option at lunch now and I saw kids like in the classroom tasting the kale salad and then they're like, oh, well maybe I'll order the salad at lunch. But it's hard, I think it's hard for people to try new kinds of foods um, if it's out of their realm. So I think that the school lunch did used to kind of be like food desert-y and then if you look around here, there's, um, there is an H-E-B. There used to be more community gardens. There's a community garden at Fiesta Beach, but there used to be one right here on Chicone, but that now that, that, that the area is changing, they made it into lofts. So I think that the value of the property changing, like to increase, it's made it less accessible for people to live in a house that has a yard and have a garden. Like most of our families now, they're priced out. They have to live in apartments. They can't find a house with a yard that's accessible to them. So I think that that's part of it too. Isn't that amazing? Like it doesn't, it does not um, drain very well. Good luck, little guy, right? Didn't you? I thought it would have been too.